Yesterday for the first time, I actually talked to a publisher who is interested in publishing my upcoming game, Hexagod. And I'm left kind of like whenever I go to a job interview, when I leave the job interview, I like to give myself a grade based off the vibes, a vibe check or a vibe grade, if you will. In this situation, my gut response was an A minus. Now I've never talked to a publisher before. I've only ever hired a capsule artist to help me make the Steam marketing assets for chess survivors. And so this was the first time I've talked to anybody from the game development industry in a professional setting like this. And although I have a bunch of experience in um, software development from a Fortune 500 company down to a startup company where we talked to vendors and got to like figure out if this is going to be a tool we wanted to use. And I've been in the room where the deal being kind of figured out was like 20 to $30 million. I've never been a decision maker in those moments, but I think sitting down and understanding what it feels like when two teams are trying to figure out, is this a deal that both parties are interested in? It gives you a perspective of how these things kind of go. And so that's, that's the experience I leaned back on because I have nothing else to lean back on. Now, I think they'll make me an offer from what we were getting into, but I want to talk a little bit about the experience before we talk about if I would accept it or not if I got there, because ultimately speaking, I think that's something that's valuable for other solo developers like yourself, maybe, or if you're just interested in what the process could be like, they ended up actually reaching out to me about Hexagot. I released the demo for Hexagot about two weeks ago. You can actually go play it over on Steam if you're interested in it. Um, I'm not quite sure how they found the game. Maybe it was through the recently published demos pages, or maybe they saw a retromation played over on his YouTube channel. Either way, my friend put it really in a, in a really good way. He said that that's a good sign for your game. That means they saw it somehow, they actually clicked on the Steam page, they downloaded the demo, they played it, and they found something they liked that they might want to invest in. They might want to add like add risk to their company to invest into my game because they can see maybe it positions well in their catalog of games, or maybe they can see how it could become a successful indie hit. Regardless of what it means, I, I only had one conversation, so I shouldn't be reading too much into it, but it, it, I think undeniably, the fact that they reached out to me to want to publish the game is a good sign for the game. And as a solo developer right now, that's something I'm interested in. I'm trying to go with the methodology of investing my time because that's a limited factor right now. I'm funded for about the, I've self-funded myself for about the next 12 months. And that means my limiting factor is time. So if I'm going to be investing my time into something, I need to make sure that it has some sort of return on the investment. Since I've only ever made one other game called Chess Survivors, I need to use signs to tell me if Hexagod is worth investing more and more time in. So far, seeing people play test the demo, seeing my friends play, play test the demo, and now talking to a publisher for the first time ever have given me good signs that there's something there and I should be investing more time into this project. So how did the conversation actually go? Well, since they reached out to me, I was like, what do I need to do here? I've never talked to a publisher. I threw together kind of in the, the night before the conversation, a panic pitch deck, which um, it's, it, 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 it is a pitch deck technically. It's not the polished thing I'd be hoping to do, but it is something that if they asked, I would be able to pull it up and at least show them. Uh, hey, by the way, here's the Steam page if you're interested. Um, I would be able to pull it open and show them, hey, here's the pitch deck and walk through those points. We had some light pleasantries. We broke the ice a bit. And then they pitched me on their studio, uh, on their publishing company and what they offer for about 20 minutes, which I thought was interesting because I have a cursory understanding of what, of what publishers can give you. They can typically sometimes help you um, with porting games to different consoles. They can do localization. They can give you QA. They can hook you into maybe they have artists on board or developers developers or designers who can help kind of bounce ideas off of you um, all the way to um, I think one of my favorite things about a publisher could be hooking into their network on like the people they have from Steam followers to maybe streamers they've worked with in the past that have been successful for them quick coffee break back to what we we're talking about which is I completely lost the point Come on, Aramis. Um, the 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 network you can hook into with a publisher is something very attractive to me. Right now, Hexagod has 600 wish lists. I'm hoping to expand that in the coming months, but also get the uh, the next fest and things like that to really balloon that number up to maybe a goal of four to ten thousand wish lists before the game fully launches. That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty successful for me. So, with all those benefits in mind of what a publisher can actually get you. 
it's interesting to sit back and think about what you would want. One of the things they definitely asked about and you should be considering is do you need development funding? Because that could be one of the more expensive pieces of the funding portion of a publisher and a good use case. If if you need, if you want to be able to quit your job or something and and are not in a position like me where you could self-fund yourself, because that is a risky endeavor. It is your own money you're putting on the line. Um, if you're not in that position and you're looking for development funding, that could be some of the more expensive parts of this publisher conversation. So if you go into that conversation, have those numbers laid out. And luckily, I'm self-funded. I'm self-funded for about the next year. So I was able to put myself in a position of strength, not only from that negotiation standpoint of, I don't necessarily need the publisher. So the publisher has to sell me on what they can do for me, which is like negotiating 101. At least if you've watched Suits, they say in Suits, negotiate from a position of power. I don't know if Suits is the perfect place to be getting career advice like this, but I'm trying to be in a position of power or at least understand my strengths heading into the conversation. Not having to be funded for development helps put me in that position in a nice way. And it does something else in a really interesting fashion. And that is it lowers the risk that they'll take in investing in Hexagod and me as the developer. Let's say I had instead a group of three or four of us, we've been working on it for a year, we have another year and a half to two years of de development, and we are seeking, this is like, say it's, a, say it's a pitch on Shark Tank, we are seeking a $200,000 um, stake because essentially you need to pay people living wages for that amount of time and maybe pay for various assets or contracts to get people to come in and help you make art or music or all those different things. So you're seeking 200 to 300,000. All of a sudden that becomes a pretty big um, risk for any sort of studio. I mean, it, it, it depends on the size of the publisher, but that could become a higher risk. If I'm just looking for help with marketing, just looking to um, have somebody to bounce ideas off of me, um, get help with uh, hooking into a bigger network of people so that when the game fully launches, more eyes can get on the game, that becomes a smaller and smaller um, size investment. Um, I'm left with that conversation um, thinking, my, my friend actually asked me this, he was like, would you accept the offer? Or what sort of an offer would you accept? And since I've never talked to a publisher before, and in fact, through this process, maybe I become more eager in talking to more of them and maybe I could actually go start pitching the game around uh, in, in the coming weeks here. The answer I gave my friend is I have no idea. I've, I have no idea how to value my game. I don't know what a equi equitable number would be until I see it. With a job interview, I've sat down and I've had interviews. I've had other jobs. I've had job offers. I know typically what I think I'm valued at in the job market of Salesforce software development. I know kind of what I could be paid. And so I had those expectations heading into a job offer. But right now, I simply don't know what that looks like from a publishing standpoint. So I hope I get an offer so I can understand a bit more what it looks like. I can help negotiate. And we can find an equitable deal that works best for both of us. Cause that'd be really cool if I could find somebody who could help me take Hexagod. And like, I know there's something good here. I get distracted playing it myself. My friends are like, I can, you can feel when someone's enjoying their experience. And I can see that when I watch watch someone play test my game. So I'd love it if you go check out the demo. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any advice for me, if you've worked with publishers before, or if you have ideas for chess survivors. I'll be live over on Twitch after this. It is Friday uh, in my time zone, wherever you are. I hope you're having a good life. Thank you so much for watching it. Good luck out there. Go make that game. You got it. I've been Aramis. I'll see you next time.